Hi guys, Keith and Richard Canton, how are we all? So, breakfalls, learning how to breakfall. We do this in the samurai class especially, uh, samurai class up. Now, what is a breakfall? So breakfalls in the samurai I learned to do, uh, I uh, did learn this for a batch. A breakfall is learning how to fall on the floor without hurting yourself or breaking bones. Am I gonna hurt myself if I fall on the floor? using a break fall. Yeah, probably. You're falling onto the floor. Yeah, it doesn't seem natural that we would fall onto the floor and not hurt myself. You know, I'm going to throw someone onto the floor. If I was to be attacked, I would want to throw someone onto the floor so that they hurt, so I hurt them by hitting them into the floor. There's two ways I can hurt someone. I can hit them or make them hit the floor. But that's all saying that can happen to me. So the idea behind me learning breakfalls or rolls or anything like that, or that if I do get pushed over or fall over or thrown on the floor or anything like that at all, I learn to be able to fall with style. As Buzz Lightyear says, I'm not flying, he's falling with style. And that's what a breakfall is. You're falling with style. Now, with breakfalls, especially the first three or four, you're gonna to learn to slap the floor. Why do you slap the floor? Slapping the floor helps disperse energy. If you think mass, jelly mass meets concrete floor, boom. But if I have two bits of mass, my arm and my body hitting the floor, it disperses power. Rather than me landing flat on my shoulder, I'm gonna hurt my shoulder. But if I go hand and shoulder, I'm only gonna get 50% of the pain dispersed. So if you look at you know, a lot of judo things, where they come into, it's very much about slapping and dispersing power and going from there, okay? So there's five main breakfalls. Right side and left side, backwards, backwards roll, forwards roll. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this video after this explanation into those five for you. One and two will be the same, then we'll stop the video. Three, you will have a different one, four, a different one, five, a different one again. All right. I hope you enjoy these uh, break falls. Do the best that you possibly can to learn these. Uh, and once again, people sort of say, do I need to learn break falls? I'm scared of break falls. Yes, you will be scared of break falls, but you're gonna be scared of most things unless you do them more often and more often that you do them. Um, I personally don't, still, after all this issues, I don't enjoy being thrown on the floor, but I know I have to do it to learn in case it does happen to me, and for my partner to be able to experience a throwing. I need to learn to be thrown, and I need to learn to throw. I need to learn to fall, and I need to learn to sweep. So I need to be able to learn both sides of that so I can understand that. And using your break falls that you can use at home and practice this at home um, is a wonderful thing to be able to do. And what I'm going to do is try and break those down for you so that the instructors can look at how I teach this and learn from this. And you as the students can look at this also as part of our free content. Alright, let's begin. Thanks very much.